Hello and welcome to my channel, happy to have you. Today we are going to set up a PA system for the best audience listening. Setting up a PA, public address, system can vary depending on the specific equipment you have. Here I will provide you with a general guide to help you set up a basic PA system for your audience to listen comfortable. First of all we want to identify the purpose of your PA system, such as whether it's for live music, public speaking, or a small event. This will help you determine the necessary components and their specifications. Next we want to gather the equipment, which IA typical components of a PA system includes Mixer Amplifiers, speakers, microphones, cables and microphone stands, ensure you have the required equipment based on your needs. When positioning the speakers for your PA system, we need to consider the following guidelines to achieve even coverage and minimize feedback. Here are five things to do as it relates to positioning of speakers. 1. Speaker Placement Position the speakers in a way that provides coverage to the entire listening area. Depending on the size and shape of the venue, you may need to use multiple speakers to ensure adequate coverage. Experiment with different placements to find the optimal positioning. 2. Angle and height. Angle the speakers towards the audience to direct the sound towards them. This can help improve clarity and projection. For elevated stages, Consider placing the speakers at an appropriate height to avoid obstruction and to provide better coverage. 3. Distance from walls and reflective surfaces. Keep the speakers a reasonable distance from walls, as well as any other reflective surfaces like windows or mirrors. This helps prevent sound reflections and potential phase cancellation issues that can cause feedback. 4. Speaker symmetry. If you have multiple speakers, aim for symmetrical placement to maintain a balanced sound. Ensure that both the left and right speakers are positioned at equal distances from the center of the stage or performance area. 5. Avoiding feedback. Feedback occurs when the sound from the speakers gets picked up by the microphones and creates a loop of amplified sound. To minimize feedback, Keep the microphones at a safe distance from the speakers and adjust the positioning if necessary. It may be helpful to use directional microphones with good off-axis rejection to further reduce the risk of feedback. After setting up your speakers, we will now look on some other important settings. Here are seven things we now need to perform. 1. Connect the mixer. Start by connecting your audio sources, microphones, instruments, playback devices, to the inputs on the mixer using appropriate cables. Ensure the connections match the input types, XLR, a quarter inch, RCA, etc. 2. Connect the amplifier. Connect the main output of the mixer to the input of the power amplifier using balanced audio cables. Make sure the cables are plugged into the appropriate input-output jacks. 3. Connect the speakers. Connect the output of the power amplifier to the speakers using speaker cables. Match the impedance of the amplifier and speakers for optimal performance. 4. Power on the system. Ensure that all volume levels are set to zero before powering on the system. Start by turning on the mixer, followed by the power amplifier. Gradually increase the volume levels on the mixer and amplifier to the desired level. 5. Sound Check 
Test each microphone and audio source to ensure they are working correctly. Adjust the EQ equalization settings on the mixer to achieve a balanced and clear sound. 6. Fine tune the sound. Use the mixer's EQ and other controls to adjust the overall sound quality. Pay attention to bass, mid range, and treble levels and make any necessary adjustments. 7. Test the system. Perform a thorough sound check by playing different audio sources through the PA system. Adjust the settings as needed to achieve the desired sound quality. Remember, this is a general guide, and the specific setup process may vary depending on the equipment you have. Always refer to the user manuals and instructions provided by the manufacturer for detailed setup instructions for your particular PA system. Hey, thanks for watching and catch you on the next.